Hey Scott, you look great. I just can't believe that you're turning 60. It's just so F wonderful. 50. What? 50. 50? Yes. He's younger than Mark. Yes. I just thought Sam liked really old guys. All right, all right, let's do this again. All right, take two. Hey Scott, how you doing? I can't believe you're turning 50. You sure don't look it. So sorry we couldn't make it there for such a wonderful celebration, but we'd already made reservations to go visit your parents in Manchester, and your mom really looks forward to it. We didn't want to disappoint her, not show up, but so we're... There. My parents are there. What? They're there. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> you told me they didn't even like him. All yeah. right, all right. <laughs> anyway, let's try this again. La, la, la. You gotta cut that out, right? Just cut it all out. All right, good. Okay. Hey, Scott. Happy birthday. 50 years old. Wow. It just can't be. So sorry we couldn't be there for the big, wonderful occasion. It just saddens me that you, we aren't able to take part in the celebration of the love and life that is Scott Smotherman. Oh, well, I've heard the numerous stories of your selfless humanitarian deeds, your love for your fellow man. It just warms my heart. And for you to be surrounded by all these people who love you and, and your family and friends and hearing all of the words of respect and admiration that they have for you, it must just make you so, so happy and blessed to have such a full and gratifying life. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, this is ridiculous. I can't do this, John. you got to get in here. This is ridiculous. You're out of here. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this. Okay. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Uh, we're all here. Well, we're here. You're there to celebrate the life of the man, the myth, the legend that is J. Scott Smotherman. That's right, J. J. A. Y. I'm so glad, Scott, that you didn't use your first name as an initial, you know, like F. Scott Fitzgerald or G. Gordon Liddy. I've always considered that to be quite pompous. And uh, although you are an asshole, you're, you know, you're not pompous, so I'll give you that much. <laughs> so anyway, Scott, you know, he's always been a great thinker. Uh, and if you believe what the great golfer Sam Snead once said, then you know that he's always concentrating. I know, I know. You know what I'm talking about. And, you know, he's very eclectic and worldly. Uh, he's uh, been mistaken as being Jewish before, and uh, he claims it's because of his nose and, and his last name, Smotherman. I don't, I don't know about that part, but, but anyway, I, w I just wonder if, if that's really the reason why he's mistaken as such. And uh, he's a great teacher, too, and speaking of the Jewish people, uh, he taught me uh, that Jewish people like to play dodgeball using big tams. I, I know, I, I know, I know, it's kind of weird. Uh, and he also taught me my first lesson in vacuum tube technology years and years ago before I really knew what a vacuum tube was, and I'm glad to say that I know what they are now. Uh, but vacuum tubes, they're not like plants and they don't like to be watered. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. He knows what I'm talking about. And uh, he's the only uh, smotherman to ever work at a men's clothing store. I'm not sure why I'm telling you that. So. Yeah, I know, it's just a fact. And, you know, he was quite the colorful kid, uh, and my dad had several colorful descriptions of his behavior, uh, such as ripping out a roaring and blowing and a going, and my favorite, sniffing out a snot. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. And, you know, he's been very generous in his life. Uh, he is, as a matter of fact, in college, he was very generous, a giving person. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, he handed out free Kern's bread to uh, all the needy students uh, on, I think it was one uh, third Friday in October, maybe, of 1978. Oh, come on, it's a roast, it's a roast. What do you expect? <laughs> and his compassion for animals is just unparalleled. Uh, you know, he once actually assisted a thirsty donkey uh, on our trip to uh, Colorado in uh, 1988, I believe it was. Let's see, I think I have a photograph right here of this uh, particular instance. Let's 
see. I think you can see the donkey and Scott uh, giving it some uh, libation. Uh, I think, I don't know if you can see that guy, but that looks like he's had some libation also. Okay, that's how I love that photo. <laughs> Our faithful donkey. And here's another photo from that trip. Uh, this is one of the few. I, I really like this one. I know it's kind of dark, uh, but it's a great photo of Scott and some of the guys. Okay. Uh, yeah, that trip to Colorado that uh, we went on back in 1988 was one of my most uh, memorable of Scott. Uh, I think after that trip, I realized how relentless and intense he can be. He just uh, just wouldn't stop. I think if he met someone like, say, Ted Nugent, uh, the world would probably implode or explode. I don't know what would happen if those two guys ever crossed paths. So, uh, and uh, those, those, we had two guys on our trip. Uh, I'm not sure. What, I think their names were Sean and Slappy. <laughs> Something like that. One seemed like kind of Slappy. Uh, and I wonder if they ever recovered from that trip. Maybe after that particular. Uh, trip, they decided to go work at McDonald's or something. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, they were good guys. And we had such a great time on the trip. Uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, and I remember the first day when we all had our horses and we were all getting used to our horses. And uh, none of us, I, well, I hadn't ridden a horse in a long time. So, But Scott, of course, being the show-off that he is, he decided to uh, start galloping his horse uh, while everyone else was just kind of you know, sitting on the horse and just relaxing, and of course, everyone, all the other horses took off also, and uh, and I wasn't ready. I mean, my feet were out of the stirrups, and my hands were, it didn't have hold of the reins, and I couldn't grab hold of the mane, and I was flopping all over the place trying to, and my horse was galloping, and of course, everybody else was up ahead of me, and, and uh, Scott was yelling, grab the reins, dumbass, grab the reins, and uh, so I finally was able to grab the reins before... Uh, before I, you know, the, the horse took my head off uh, you know, running through a tree branch or something. So uh, that was a great trip, and uh, like I said, I'll never forget that. Uh, I have a, a couple more photos here of this particular trip. There's one of uh, all the guys. Uh, I'm taking the photo, so I'm not in it, but uh, I was there. Uh, so that, uh, I love that photo of the guys. And uh, they all notice they all have their white t-shirts on. And here's one up. We tried to maintain some form of, of, of hygiene while we were there, so uh, there's proof that we did actually wash at least once <laughs> during those five days. I hope the, uh, the reflection off of the white ass doesn't, uh, doesn't blind anybody there. <laughs> so that was, uh... And the water was very cold, by the way. And, you know, sort of take my word for it. <laughs> it was very cold. Like Costanza, didn't she know about the shrinkage? Yes, there is definitely shrinkage going on there. Uh, so uh, that is it. We uh, we want to wish everybody a, a good times there and safe trip to to and fro. And I think you just heard uh, some uh, bubbly. So we're gonna toast Scott right now. Yes, we are. I guess I will do. <laughs> yeah, for now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just... okay, here you go. Here's a be uh, a be early fiftieth birthday. Happy birthday, Scott. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sorry Scott. we're not there. Yeah, so <laughs> everybody have a great time. Mm. One more thing. Ooh, that is good. It's good stuff. Yes, here you go. Thank you, baby. You this next year? <laughs> uh oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Hang on this. See, you know, I always like to have some uh, you know, cereal in the afternoon. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, you know what? Mm. You can't have any. Nope, it's all for me. Happy birthday! <laughs>